It's 10 o'clock. Good evening. This is The World Tonight with Ritha Lashar. A van driver in Toronto has killed nine and injured 16 pedestrians by knocking them over in what witnesses say was a deliberate attack. All I've seen is this guy is just crumbling and he's going 70, 80 clicks. He's just hitting people one by one going down. Oh man, it's a gruesome scene. It's really bad out there. We speak to a man who saw what happened. The government's announced that members of the Windrush generation and their children are to be granted British Mental citizenship health. for free if they want it. We get reaction. The children of Windrush should never have had to go cap in hand to ask for British citizenship, a right that was always theirs in the first place. Also, Emmanuel Macron and Donald Trump, an unlikely friendship. So should there be high hopes for the French president's visit to Washington? If it is possible to influence Mr. Donald Trump, the American president will be influenced by Macron. We hear from a former French foreign minister and unpeeling the glamorous veneer of Bollywood. He started telling me, for an actress, you should be happy to have sex as and when possible. Embrace your sexuality, use it. An insight into the dark underbelly of India's film industry. That's all after the BBC News, read by Neil Nunes. A van has driven onto a pavement in the Canadian city of Toronto, killing nine people. At least 16 people have been injured. Police say the driver has been arrested. From New York, Nella Toffik has this report. Witnesses described their shock and horror as a white rental van traveling at high speed mounted the curb and struck several pedestrians in northern Toronto. It happened just before 1.30 in the afternoon local time near a major intersection and transport interchange. Is that their the nearest correspondent was later stopped several in New York away in a confrontation with Toronto. police and taken into custody. Yeah. Many on the scene said it appeared the driver was acting intentionally, and U.S. law enforcement sources confirmed the incident appeared to be a deliberate act. But no further details about the driver or the cause of the accident yes, were everyone wants to know the ethnicity of the, the driver, Prime of course. Minister Justin Trudeau said he was monitoring the situation and expressed sympathy for those affected. The Home Secretary Amber Rudd has sought to end the controversy about the status of thousands of Caribbean migrants, announcing that members of the Windrush generation will be able to secure British citizenship. She said the application fees would be waived and that those applying would not need to take the citizenship test. Our political correspondent Ian Watson reports. After days of damaging headlines, the Home Secretary wanted to administer the antidote to this politically toxic issue. This was composed of three elements. A further apology to those she said have been let down by the state. It's an invitation for fraud, isn't it? it anyone can turn up, uh, anyone can cost, phone up, and say you were compensation for those who were entitled to be in Britain but had faced losing their homes or jobs due to a lack of documentation. The Shadow Home Secretary, Diana Abbott, because they didn't have any documents, measures, but sought to keep the focus what sort of checks are they going to do then? On Amber Rudd. She said the buck must stop with the Home Secretary. This is a loaded cannon, and the cannonball has got an explosion on it. The Duchess of Cambridge has left hospital in London after giving birth to a baby boy this morning. He's fifth in Yeah, London it's the... Today, St. George's Day. St. George's Day, everybody! We're English! Let's celebrate it! Oh! Don't even mention it then! Not even once! Wow, the fifth in line to the throne has been born. They haven't got a name yet. It's born at 11.01. And with numerology. Forget the zero. One one one. Picked up his other children, George and Charlotte, and then returned. Which is then different to eleven eleven. Duchess appeared on the steps of the hospital with their newborn child. He was wrapped in a white lace shawl, topped with a white bonnet. They stood and waved to the crowd of well wishers and journalists, and then with their the baby, baby waved. Oh, the <laughs> well, they took. President Macron of France has begun a state visit to the United States lasting three days. He and his wife were welcomed to Washington by President and Mrs. Trump. The White House says both leaders have great respect for each other and will have candid discussions. From Washington, here's Lucy Williamson. 
French national anthem greeting President Macron as he arrived in Washington was a reminder that for all his personal rapport with Donald Trump, there are friends... Right, there's nothing new. It just draws you in, doesn't it? men have developed a close and unlike... You know, what I kind of hate about the news is they say something and then there's no, there's no pause. It like straight on to the next thing and you're sort of like, whoa, whoa hang on a minute. <laughs> you just said something major and without expression and then we move on to the next part of the news. Well, anyway, <clears throat> this uh, video, uh, I didn't know what was going to be on the news, clearly. Um, I just wanted to hear what the headlines were quickly and this video is not about anything like that. It's about a subject which, you know, this is what I'm going to say is going to be very sort of um, conflicting to the current trends that we seem to be having. And it's all about the LGBT. Now. I've made videos before saying there are no gay souls and and stuff like that. I mean, there isn't. There aren't. <clears throat> It'd be like having a universe with only suns and stars, you know? No planets. What sort of universe would that be? It, or it would be like a universe with only planets and no stars, no light-emitting objects. So, you know, as we go deeper, yeah, you can say, oh, what's the difference between a male and a female? You know, you have a beard and we don't, and we have boobs and you don't, and you, you know, you have balls and testicles and we have a womb, right? Even though that's quite a lot, actually, isn't it? But, um, you know, even on, and then on the soul level, going down deeper, there are even more differences. And um, the most succinct way of saying it, I think, for the roles of men and women, and this is a good one, is uh, men guide, women decide. And uh, Thomas Shampoo, he came out with uh, uh, men, men guide and women lead. And so I think we're co-creating there. <clears throat> So yeah, men guide, women decide. That is just puts it really well. So we are, we are like, you know, like opposites in a sense. Anyway, I've said that before. So the gays and the lesbians, <clears throat> it is more of a, uh, a mental condition and you know, I would put it along with autism and stuff like that, but that is not to degrade anyone who's made that decision, has that belief, has experimented, if you like, with that reality, because it does become a reality for that person. Their whole, your belief system, that's the power it has, it affects your universe. All right, temporarily, because there is an actual truth, you know, and there is a, a universe that we all live in, which is true. The universe is true. You put something on the table and it stays there. No one yet has been able to do levitation, you know, <laughs> and um, we possibly never will, because what's, what, for what reason? For what reason could there be to, to, to need to levitate? Anyway, going off. So, you know, and what I think it can stem from is it can stem from someone searching for the answer. You know, why do I feel shit inside? Why am I not happy with myself? And it could happen that you know, in your life at the right sort of time, you have this sort of feeling, yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, you know, if, if, if thinking about women is causing all this anguish and actually it's not enjoyable, you know, I'm not liking this and, 
you know, so, so I'm gay. And, um, and then, you know, oh yeah, that feels better. That's a, a weight off my shoulders. I don't have to sort of get involved with that competitive, you know, getting the, 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 the woman that you want, the, the one that everybody wants, maybe. It's, it is, you know, it's, it's one of the pressures in life. Um, and that's, that can be a result of it. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to degrade it in any way. With, or even people with autism, my feeling of people with autism is that they're more honourable to their soul. And <coughs> so, <clears throat> and look, bisexual, I'm not even going to spend more than five seconds on this. Bisexual is not a thing. Bisexual is just loose morals, whatever, just don't know what you're doing. Okay? Now, I have been thinking about transgender for a while, and like, you know, it's difficult when you don't know anyone, never met anyone who says they're transgender, thinks they're transgender. It's a, it's, a, it's a new thing that's coming out. You know, maybe, I'm not sure how long it's been around. I mean, you've definitely got old people now who were um, identified as transgender as, as children. So it's been around. But it's, it's, it's coming more out, obviously, but is it growing? Is it a growing thing? Well, I think as something becomes more accepted, I think it could grow, potentially. And um, so I've been thinking about this, and today there was a program on the radio, and I've seen a few YouTube videos. I've seen a guy who, who was a, born a guy, and then thought he was a girl, and, you know, his mum was kind of okay with it, and had a few operations and stuff, and then about, when he got to about the age of 60, he decided to go back, he, he decided he was a man. So that's only one example, but it was a long, sincere talk, and, you know, you could see they showed pictures of when he was a woman, and you could see he still had... You know, he obviously didn't need to shave because he'd had some hormonal treatments or whatever. Anyway, he went back. Now, I've heard from people who have, you know, had their sex changed from a boy to a woman, perhaps, and very happy with it and um, have stayed like it. So that did make me think. But you don't know, no, that might have been an actor, right? Any of these could be an actor. So, <coughs> listening to this one today on the radio... <coughs> And she started it off with the mother saying about how the the son, but she was referring it to as a girl, as a daughter. Had she had the mother had no problem with that. Just note that. And she started it off by saying that the 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 child had come up to her and said, you know, something about what's transgender because, and they were talking about it. And anyway, and the the example from the child came like. Mum, I think God's made a mistake. I'm, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. I'm a girl in a boy's body. So just that first line, God's made a mistake. Now, so, someone like me, right, a uh, fervent believer in God, a loving God, um, that is just obviously wrong. Right? God has not made a mistake. God would not make a mistake. And I'd obviously thought that before, you know, knowing that God wouldn't make a mistake. So I, so I had tried to think, so how... If God didn't make a mistake, if God put a man's soul in a woman's body on purpose, what would be the reason? And I did think one possibility was that... Um, God, it was God's way of showing that people would feel their soul and their soul would kind of overcome the, uh, you know, it would just be a way of showing that people could feel actually, no, this is my soul and my soul, you know, in the wrong body. And then I, but then I just thought, that that's cruel to do that to a child. 
you know, that that's just cruel. God is not cruel. And maybe if it was a very important reason, then God could compensate and still do it. But I don't see that. Um, you know, children are very talented. And, the, and it's, it's what's confused me is what's coming from the child. Like even this child, it sounded like a girl in a way. It was a bit different, but it did sound like a girl. And YouTube videos I've seen, the child is seems really happy in their in what they are. But think how happy a child is to please a parent. Now, the parent might not be able to help it. Emotionally, coming out of the parent is, I wanted a girl. I wanted a little girl. I don't really know what to do with this boy. I wanted a girl. And children are very good at picking up on that emotional stuff. And so could display signs of girliness just to please the parent and that's what I'm thinking is happening with the transgender so the whole LGBT and whatever the Q is uh, nicking the rainbow as their flag I'm sorry that was over the top well I didn't personally like it because I wasn't for it. And that's my reasonings. So it's, and you know, mental health is a massive thing today in the Western world. I'm not, I don't know facts and figures about China and India, but I know there's a lot of suicides, so it can't be that great. Mental health. And, you know, doing stuff in your soul and healing your heart. That's, I mean, that's you, so that affects your mental health. And You know, here says the guy claiming to be Christ, chosen one, Messiah, whatever. Um, my mental health, you know, so, but I feel fine and I'm not complaining, so. You know, and I guess... Anyone else who's a... And I'm not condemning anyone for their belief. And I would just say, you experiment with truth. You see for yourself. And, you know, not condemning anyone. But what I kind of condemn is the way things get pushed towards us and we jump on these sort of, you know, just believe the hype just you know and yeah that was an Obama thing and it was a you know it was a kind of a thing of the past I think because the you know if the if there's no truth in it these things fizzle out it's the truth that keeps boiling keeps going keeps coming up so I think that'll do um yeah I invite you to comment and um if there's something you think I've said is wrong, you know, if you want to chat about it, we can do that. Okay? You know, love is the main thing, and truth is kind of your foundation for love. You get that foundation of truth, you know, building love is much easier and stable. <laughs> okay, ciao.